of the Women's Royal Australian Naval Service. Like these girls, I started my training at Flinders Naval Depot, Victoria, HMAS Cerberus. There are dozens of different jobs for rams to do, all of them important, and all of them releasing men for service at sea. Recruits spend the first six months of their life in the Navy here at Flinders, receiving the basic training that allows them to become ratings in the branch they've chosen and for which they have special aptitudes. Many girls who join, for instance, are particularly interested in cooking. The Navy cookery course, under the direction of experts, covers every aspect of plain and fancy cooking for small or large numbers. The training fits a girl to take her place as a cook in Rand's quarters or in naval establishments. And of course, if she marries, as so many Rands do, this training will be an asset in her own home. Meals are first class in the modern Navy, and it takes first class cooks to prepare them. Girls who train in this cookery school learn the practical way. Many recruit Rands have had experience in domestic work, and that's an advantage if you want to train as a steward. On being drafted to Rand's offices or ratings quarters, they'll be expected to lay tables correctly, so they're shown exactly how it should be done. Like cookery, this is an essential part of every girl's training. But in the Rands, you're paid to learn, and learn from highly qualified instructors. Girls may be selected for training for nursing orderly duties in Rand's sick quarters. Like all the other Navy courses, this is a thorough one, and it will qualify a girl for many aspects of the nursing profession. Recruits can join the Women's Royal Australian Naval Service at the age of 18. Incidentally, all dental and medical attention cost you nothing. It takes a lot of office work and ledger keeping to make sure the supply and store side runs efficiently. Girls who want something different in the way of office work train as supply ratings, learning typing and ledger keeping, studying the victualling of ships and shore establishments, in fact, finding out all about everything from a needle to an anchor. So they attend classes, often under the instruction of naval officers. For girls who have an intermediate certificate, or who've reached the equivalent educational standard, the Navy's communications branch opens up a wide field of interesting jobs. Recruits learn to read Morse and to type a message as it's received. At first, the dots and dashes are sent very slowly, but most of the trainees reach a standard of 25 words a minute. Of course, Royal Australian Navy equipment is the most modern obtainable, and teleprinters are used also. Telephones are used too, and radio telephones. So voice training is included in the subjects that communications branch personnel learn. This is designed to ensure clear speech when using telephones and radio telephones to relay important messages. Yes, Rand go to sea too. They learn practical seamanship anyway. And you can imagine how popular this part of the training is. The lifebelts worn in the whalers are only a precaution for Rand to talk to swim. We're really in the Navy now. Swimming is fun too. And if you can't swim, there are expert instructors to teach you. The indoor pool at Flinders is heated, so you can swim all the year round. The RAN is by no means all cookery, typing, or laying tables, with a wide variety of interests. The Navy has found that good health and physical fitness go hand in hand, so physical training courses have been specially designed for the girls in the RAN. And the exercises aren't only good for keeping you fit, they keep your figure trim too, without any worries about dieting when meal times come around. It isn't all jumping and touching toes, but the game's like tunnel ball to keep it interesting. Life here at HMAS Cerberus is very attractive, 
but the Navy doesn't believe in all work and no play. The big establishment with its huge grounds and playing fields, its picture theatre and swimming pool, offers more amenities than most towns. Basketball is one of the most popular of the sporting activities at Flinders, and the competition is keen. Team games are always exciting to play in and to watch, but some girls prefer to spend their leisure hours on the tennis courts. If your hobby is gardening, you'll have an opportunity to do a little digging or weeding, or planting if you like. And in the evening, in the well-equipped recreation quarters, Rand can entertain male personnel of HMAS Cerberus. Whether it's table tennis or a sing-song around the piano, or just a quiet chat, these spacious quarters provide amenities that make it a real home. There's not a dull moment when you're a member of the Women's Royal Australian Naval Service, apart from your actual training, which fits you to be a good RAN and a good citizen. There's a lot of fun, sport and amusement. RANs have their own cabins, some single berth, some double berth. They're small in shipboard style, but they're comfortable, clean, modern and well equipped. There's a very well stocked canteen of course, where girls may buy for themselves at minimum cost those little extras so dear to every woman's heart. Frequently the Rands hold dances, to which recruits and ratings from Cerberus are invited. Here too, more friendships have been made between girls and men who have the same high ideals of service to their country. It's not surprising that, with this common interest, so many of them marry. It's not long before recruit rams finish their training. Now they're on the job. These girls are supply ratings, playing their part in keeping the Navy running with its traditional efficiency. Rands issue clothing to naval trainees who are just starting their course. And they also issue to Rands recruits the complete and comprehensive kit the Navy supplies to every girl who joins. The Rand's uniform is attractive as well as serviceable. It's smart as well as practical. And the issue of clothing and accessories to every recruit represents a complete new wardrobe. Clothes for all weathers and all occasions. And supplied free by the Navy, of course. Some supply branch rands who've completed their six months basic training are drafted to stores where they assist in the victualling of RAN shore stations. It's a big job and an important one. But to the boys in the Navy, jobs in the pay office are more important. Rands fully trained as writers and typists work alongside male personnel. Remember the girls we saw training as cooks and stewards? Well, they're fully qualified now, and in the Navy that really means something. Should they leave the Rands, the experience and training they've received will be invaluable in their own homes. Recruit Rands joined for a period of four years, and this can be renewed when completed. It often is. Many girls marry and leave the service, so that there's always an opportunity for others who want to take on a career that's full of variety, interest, good fellowship, and service to their country. Like every other aspect of the Women's Royal Australian Naval Service, the meals are attractive. Every detail of food preparation and service in this mess is the responsibility of girls trained by the Navy in a specialist career. And it's not just training for four years of service either. It's training for a life of better citizenship.
You can imagine how many and varied are the stores required by shore establishments. Rands are trained for duties in naval stores, trained to handle and issue the almost limitless numbers of items of stationery, scientific equipment, tools of trade, everything in fact that a modern, efficient navy needs. It's a vital job, and it's freeing men for active service afloat. At naval headquarters and other shore establishments, many Rands who've been trained as writers find that they're doing office work, but not ordinary office work. Here, typists and stenographers are taking and transcribing messages which have an important bearing on Australia's security. The work they do for senior naval officers affects the movements and disposition of every member of the Royal Australian Navy. In the filing cabinets are the records of every detail of our modern seagoing service. Girls who, six months ago, had never heard a Morse code signal, are now trained telegraphists on duty at HMAS Harmon, the Navy's wireless station at Canberra. They had no trouble in learning to take 25 words a minute, and now they can receive messages from ships off the coast of Korea, in the English Channel, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific, the Atlantic, for the RAN serves Australia on the seven seas. The Rands are proud of the part they play in maintaining naval communications. The telegraphists are also experts in tuning receivers, taking messages from ships ploughing the sea lanes far from Australia's coastline. They send messages by teleprinter, by radio and by landline. Friends receive and log messages from Commonwealth and overseas centres. Even though the equipment is highly technical, they soon master its operation under careful instruction. When you join the RANDs, you really become part of the Navy. An important part. In training for naval duties and in training for physical fitness, the Navy doesn't neglect the spiritual aspect. As Sunday morning comes round, girls attend churches which are actually within the grounds of the Naval Depot. The whole atmosphere is warm and friendly. This is the Anglican Chapel. Also in the Depot grounds is another beautiful church. It's here that girls of the Roman Catholic faith make their devotions, daily if they wish. Most girls want to progress, and Rands are no exception. Officers are chosen from the ranks, Rands ratings who've shown ability and leadership. Every recruit knows that if she's capable, she would have an equal opportunity of selection for an officer's training course that could lead to promotion. Rands on parade. Girls who are seeking the most out of life and who at the same time are prepared to serve their country. They're as smart as fully trained and efficient seamen, carrying on the Navy's traditional reputation of precision, skill and devotion to duty. Their future is assured. They'll have opportunities for travel, for promotion and for training which fits them for a fuller, healthier and more interesting life. march side by side with the men of the Royal Australian Navy, swinging along to the strains of All the Nice Girls Love a Sailor. If you're aged between 18 and 40 and measure up to the standards set by the service, you could embark on a new life of interest, a life under the best possible conditions, with free medical attention, free training, free uniforms and accessories, and the prospect of travel and promotion. And it's a well-paid job, a golden opportunity for a career. I know, because I'm a RAN, and proud of it. Why don't you join the RANs? Believe me, you'll be glad that you did. <laughs>